Hello and welcome back to Light Running UK. So today we're going to cover the runner's knot. It's something I picked up on a couple of years ago now and it helps me in terms of getting a better lockdown. Um, it's a bit of a dry subject but it will help newer runners who maybe maybe don't implement this type of knot in their shoes. Help you get um, a better, more consistent and a better lockdown. Uh, it prevents your foot moving around whilst you're running and therefore preventing blisters etc. So let's dive straight in and let's cover the runner's knot. So yes, yeah, so welcome back to the channel. Like I said, it is a bit of a dry subject, but it, it is quite useful to newer runners, those that maybe don't implement the runner's knot before. Some people have never heard of it, some people maybe maybe you've implemented already. Uh, but yeah, it's either the runner's, the runner's knot or the heel lock. And again, um, quite, a, quite a lot of runners implement it. it so there's, there is some kind of minor benefits, but um, it gives you a bit more of a consistent lockdown and um, helps you to obviously get that on a more regular basis. Uh, like I say prevents because you get a bit, a bit of a better snug um, lockdown over the top of the foot. It'll prevent foot movement forwards and backwards specifically, um, and therefore prevent rubbing, blisters, and, and chafing, etc. And also, whilst you're running, once you've locked it down and you obviously tie your lace, even if the lace comes undone during the run, the, the shoe stays relatively um, tight for a couple of seconds, etc. For you, for you, give yourself enough time for you to just stop running, quickly bend down, retie the lace, and go again. Um, so it's a bit of an extra safety measure in terms of the shoe doesn't become loose immediately as the, as the lace comes undone. But yeah, so I'll, I'll dive straight in. So what is a runner's knot? Um, I'll demonstrate it in a minute with a bit of a voiceover. Um, so yeah, basically, I, I've, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware of it till probably about 12, 18 months ago when um, I found out about the runner's knot from another runner. Um, so it's these basically these top two holes. So your laces only come to the one at the bottom. And some people might wonder what the top hole is for. Um, so what you'll do, I'll show you in a minute. I'll um, I'll do actually I'll do a, a a video in a sec in terms of how you do how you implement the runners up. But basically, you make a loop through those top two holes, cross the laces across the top, um, and then that basically gives you the chance to cinch the top of the shoe down a bit higher than you normally would on the top of the foot. And then once you've cinched it down, that gives you a nice snug lockdown, and it means you don't have to worry about keeping the pressure of the lace on whilst trying to do the loop and the, and the tying the lace. So. It helps you to get that say that solid lockdown on a consistent basis. Helps you lock yourself down, and then freeze up just to tie up your lace. I I also always always do a double knot, just again because there's nothing worse than you maybe going for a PB attempt or your mid race or you're doing something that's obviously time specific or you're doing interval reps for example. And again, it's it's timed and you want it to be max effort or close to. There's nothing worse than if your lace comes undone mid rep or mid race or mid PB attempt. And you have to stop and retight that could just throw out the whole workout or the whole pb attempt to get to a couple of seconds 10 15 seconds would would obviously throw it all away so i always do a double knot just to be again as an extra safety measure that if one of the knots comes undone you've still got your lace tied so that's the basics of the runner's knot i'll quickly go over um how to do it now and show you how to do how to actually physically tie the runner's knot hopefully it'll be useful to those that have never heard of it before so let's move on to now how we do a runner's knot so like i said you use these top two holes on each, on each side Again, I'll try and make this as quick and painless as possible. You uh, come out of the top hole as normal laces mud, and then you put it back through the top hole in the opposite direction. So it comes onto the inside of the shoe, as you can see there. So you do a loop on one side, and then again, same on the other side. And again, most people don't use this top 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 hole. I I never I I was always curious what it meant, what the hole, what the what it meant. What the, I was always curious what the top hole was actually for, and I think it's actually presumably presumably for this. So once you've made a loop on either side, so with the lace is going um, across, you basically put one loop, one lace through one loop on one side, and one lace through the loop on the other side. And then what you do is then you give you a chance to pull it tight, and obviously that gives you the chance then to cinch you down. So if your foot was in there, and what you do is you keep pulling it till it cinches it nice and tight. Yep. So you keep pulling it till it cinches it nice and tight. Like that. Your foot's obviously in there, cinch, 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 and obviously these these loops get tighter and tighter. Um, it's harder to demonstrate without my foot being in it, but I wanted to try and show you a bit more visibly. Um, so then, yeah, so these two loops get nice and tight. Your foot's obviously in there, nice and cinched down. And then you then go ahead and um, do your lace as normal. Um, fasten the lace. If you've got enough space, obviously do a double knot. If not, just do a single knot. But yeah, that's the basics of a runner's knot. And then once you come back, again, you'll have to um, loosen off these two loops. They'll be quite snug. And then that allows you, that allows you then to release the foot but like I said the basics are use the top two holes you um, your lace comes out naturally from the top hole let's demonstrate it one more time 
So yeah, your laces are there as normal. And then what you need to do is obviously you take the top lace and put it on the same side, pop it through the hole in the opposite direction to make a loop. Same on the other side, pop it through in the opposite direction to make a loop. And then you cross the laces over through, through the inside of the loops and then you basically pull and that's when you're able to then once your foot's in it you alternate the pulling and it cinches it nice down nice and tightly gives you a nice solid lockdown these aren't my specific running shoes but i use them as a bit of uh shameless self-promotion got a bit of branding on like running but yes that's the basics of a um runner's knot i'll uh, wrap it up now okay so that's the, basically that's the basic overview of the runner's knot of the heel or the heel lock um, I won't bang on too much because it's quite a dry subject. Hopefully you've uh, picked up some little nugget of information from that. Hopefully you can implement it if, if you think it's useful to you. I never used to run previously um, with the runner's knot, but now every time I go out, I always do. It's just, um, I just I just like the, the simplicity of getting a good lockdown and obviously that extra added um, safety net of if your lace does come undone, the shoe still stays re relatively tight for you to be able to stop and retie it. Um, but it's mainly that lockdown that you can get it good good consist, consistent regular lockdown whereas when you're trying to keep your shoe quite snug and then you're trying to be then you're trying to tie the lace at the same time you do lose a bit of that um tension and then your shoe comes a little bit looser and then it, again technically potentially you could then have a bit of foot movement and a bit of rubbing and that, again that's not great for any kind of runner so um that's the overview um hopefully it was actually hopefully you've learned a little bit of information from that um, as always, thank you for watching. If you're still watching all the way through to the end of this video, I do appreciate it. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will continue with my regular training vlogs in uh, the next couple of days. See you on the next one.